Carla, can you hear me? Can you open your eyes? There you go. Where am I? You're in a hospital. My name's Dr. Connor. Where's my dad? He and your mom aren't here right now. But they'd want me to take care of you. Am I sick? Yes, Carla. Just like your daddy. I need to ask you about places that you and your dad may have gone to lately. Or things you may have done that you normally wouldn't have. I'm really tired. Just stay with me just for a few more questions, okay? And then I'll let you rest. Has your dad taken you any place where there may have been a lot of chemicals? You know, like a factory. My dad works at home. And except for school, piano, and soccer, we're usually there. All right. What about soccer? Have you seen anyone spreading fertilizer on the field? You know, like, to help the grass grow? If they did, it didn't work. The field's mostly dirt. My dad got that for me for my birthday. Bought it when Mama took me to the river. You went to a river? Invited my dad for a picnic. She wanted us to be a family again. But they fought. They always fight. It must not have been a very fun picnic. Except for me and my dad went swimming. You and your dad swam in the river? For a little while. The water didn't smell very good. All right, why don't you get some rest now? If you need anything, there'll be someone right out here for you, okay? Thank you, Carla. There's a river near Willamette, 20 minutes upstream on its banks in Riverdale. The town where the second cluster developed. Check it out, Frank. Is that really fair? What are you talking about? Lying to Carla about her mom and dad, suggesting they're still alive. Aren't you just setting her up for an even bigger fall? That little girl just lost both of her parents, and you want to talk to me about being fair? The only thing I'm concerned about right now is saving that little girl's life, and when I do, then I'll tell her the truth. 